Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about long division. Um, I've got an example problem right here, 918 divided by 7. The first step is to write this as a long division style problem. So you're going to have a bracket just like this. And you're going to have the number that's being divided right there and the number we're dividing by, which is 7 right there. I wrote this kind of stretched out, but I'll show you why. Um, so the first question that you, the way you start is you ask a question. This goes into that how many times? And uh, it looks to me like seven goes into nine one time. We're going to write a one up top. And once you have that, you're going to go down and say one times seven makes seven. And you're going to subtract that seven from that nine. And then you're going to have uh, it's nine minus seven is two and then bring down the one and the eight. So now you're gonna ask another question. You're gonna say, does seven go into two? And the answer to that is no. So then you look at the next digit, which is a one, and you say, does seven go into 21? And the answer to that is yes. So it goes in three times. So seven, we're gonna put a three up here. And uh, now we multiply three times seven and we get 21. Right there, we subtract, we get zero, zero, and then this is eight. And now we ask a question one more time, does seven go into eight? Uh, yes, it does. Seven goes into eight one time, so we write one, and uh, we take the one times seven, write it right there, subtract, and we get one. And now we ask our final question, does seven go into one? No, it doesn't, there's no more digits. So this is my remainder. So you write uh, 131 remainder one, or you could do 131, and you can write this as a fraction with a one over seven. So you could write it as a mixed number like that, or like that. Let's try another problem. The key is asking the question, does seven go into this? If yes, you know, write down your one, subtract, if, if it doesn't, then you have to bring down an extra digit. Let's do another one. Uh, this time we're going to do uh, 13. We're going to divide that into uh, 9, 4, 6, 3. So that's a pretty big number, 9,463. And so my first question is, does 13 go into 9? The answer is no, it doesn't. So then we go, we, we, we go from 9 and we go to 94. And I say, does 13 go into 94? And the answer is yes, it does. Uh, 13 times 7 is 91. So 13 goes into 94 seven times, just like that. And 7 times 13 is 91. Uh, subtract right there. And so 94 minus 91 is 3. Bring down these other numbers. And now I'm going to ask, does 13 go into 3? No, it doesn't. What about 36? Does 13 go into 36? Uh, yes, it does. It goes in two times. Because 2 times 13 is 26. So 2 times 13, 26 right there. Subtract 1, 0, uh, and 3. Uh, so now we're going to ask, does 13 go into 1? Obviously not. Does 13 go into 10? Nope. Does 13 go into 103? Yes. Uh, and uh, I think 7 times 13 is still 91. So 13 goes into 103 7 times. 7 times this is 91. Subtract, and we get 2. 10 minus 9 is 1. So now finally, does 13 go into 12? Uh, no. So that is my remainder, remainder 12. And you can say, or 727 and 1213. So that's another way to write the same thing. Uh, it doesn't matter how many digits are out here. You just start with a nine. If that can't have a 13 going to it, then you do the 94. If for some reason that couldn't take the number right here, you just keep moving out until you can divide this in there evenly. I'll do one more example. Uh, this time we'll do 102 
divided into uh, uh, seven, six, four, two, three. 76,423, a large number and a large divisor. Uh, does 102 go into seven? No. It doesn't go into 76. It does go into 764. I guess it goes in seven times. I'm gonna put a seven right here. Notice how I kind of line up the, the seven uh, with the 764. Seven times one is seven. Seven times two is 14. So we're gonna have this. Subtract 764 minus 714 is five, zero, two, three. Uh, 102 doesn't go into five or 50, and it doesn't even go into uh, uh, 502 because uh, uh, I guess it just goes in four times. Um, so we could just write a four right here. Four times 102 is 408. Subtract, and we get one. Uh, let's see here. What's 502 minus uh, 408? I guess it would be. 94, and then bring down your three. And uh, does 102 go into 943? Uh, I guess it goes in nine times. Nine times 102 is 918. Subtract, and you've got left over 25. And since 102 doesn't go into 25, you get, that's your remainder, 25. All righty, hope that helps you out. Uh, please leave a comment. Uh, I love getting the comments and let me know if you have any other uh, questions or concerns. Bye-bye.